Yeah, I I think early on, I didn't realize the limitations. You know, when you first start using a system, you don't know what you don't know about it. So as you start learning yeah. more, you start realizing what you can't actually do. Because I obviously I had that that um uh database software but at the time uh there also wasn't some like i think some other things i want to use like zoom i think at the time with the web client you couldn't start a call and i didn't want to install the desktop client and uh, mm -hmm. like some random other i think some maybe some browser plugins might have behaved a little bit weirdly as well i, I was using I was using Vivaldi as my browser on <laughs> Windows and on Linux. And Vivaldi is fine on Windows. At the time, the Linux version, for some reason, just took forever to load. It wasn't a snap. It wasn't a flat pack. Nothing like that. It just took forever to load. I don't know why. Um, I think, for me, the, the biggest hurdle is the fact that I threw myself directly into a uh, tiling window manager. My first experience on oh. Linux was using i3 which also <laughs> is not a great tiling window manager experience. It's great because it's easy to configure. The default configures, you know, really well set up. But it's a manual tiler and manual tilers are rough because, you know, you end up forgetting, like, if, if you're just getting started you don't realise that you can, like, rearrange things in all this nice way and you just have this line of pillars across your screen and every application is just horrible to use so i actually got into the habit of basically not even using the tiler i would have one window on each virtual desktop and i still do that today i just feel like it's it's more convenient <laughs> like with the exception of maybe maybe i'll do a two split but i'm usually not going to go above that except in really weird edge cases but yeah. what are you what are you using? Oh, okay. Once you started using Ubuntu, where did you go from there? You started using Arch at some point. Did you stick on Arch like going forward, or were there other things you played around with? I was with? hopping around quite a bit, mm -hmm. trying to trying to learn things. I always had Ubuntu to fall upon. Sure. But <clears throat> Arch and Ubuntu were my main main mainstays. Mm -hmm. But I was always keeping with something floating. I didn't really venture into tiling window managers. So the most extreme thing that I was using was Openbox. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, mostly using No Mate, which, <laughs> which can be seen uh, from my history even today. <laughs> <laughs> so, what may so I uh, have you you tried out tilers along the way though, haven't you? Or have you I not? have tried up and didn't didn't care thing. a lot for them. Okay, <laughs> not my thing. What what don't you like about tilers? Like, is it just the familiarity you have with the floating experience because of Windows, or is there something about the workflow that doesn't really suit what you're trying to do? Honestly, I would sooner or later uh, use floating mode and put Windows in such an order that I had. Tiny parts of this window, and on top of it, another an, a, another window, maybe even half of that window, because other half is on the the non-existent monitor and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that that's how I got used to in Windows, mm -hmm. and that's my workflow to basically accomplish same thing, but waste less less space. That's fair. The like. My only, my only problem with the float is I use floating windows. I will put windows in floating mode on my tiler, but I use it as like a fairly sparing thing. Like my I've got a uh, a web browser in my OBS layout right now, and the browser itself is like sitting on my window, like sitting on my main window above my face on like the Discord <coughs> layout because I don't just I don't want to see my face as I'm talking, but. Most windows I will tile. Like, I... As I said, because I, I do everything where it's, like, usually one window per desktop. Do you actually make use of virtual desktops a lot? Or do you like to just cram everything on one place? I don't tend to use virtual desktop. I have... Okay. I have two monitors. One monitor is my working monitor where I have mostly one window open whether it be a ID game, mm. 
a browser, whatever it is I'm working on. Then I have a secondary monitor that's over there mm -hmm. that I have basically Windows laid, laid out uh, willy nilly, and some of them are minimized. Mm -hmm. I don't need I don't need virtual desktop because of that because I'm used to that and. I did use virtual desktops on Windows mm -hmm. for some time, but the main reason I used them was because I literally wanted to, to hide something. Right. It wasn't even showing up when I was alt-tabbing. That was my use case for virtual desktops. Yeah, I didn't use them when I was on Windows, like, really either, because I there is a hotkey for it. I don't know what the hotkey was. So from my experience, like, because I never, I look, I probably could have just googled it and found it. But whenever I, 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 I did virtual desktop stuff, it was sort of accidentally. Like I'd hit the key to yeah. like do the virtual desktop switcher and then move a window over. And I was like, wait, why did I do that? I don't know. That's stupid. Like if if I was gonna have it, you know, super one, super two, super three, like you'd normally have on a, a Tyler, like then I probably would get used to it more and someone's probably gonna tell me the hotkeys for it and it's gonna be something really obvious and i'm sure if i go back to it i'd probably want to work out how to do it but i think it's super left and super right oh so there's no way to jump directly to it it's just left and right i'm not sure i think it's super left super right but i'm okay i, I, I never used the uh, hotkeys yeah, okay. for yeah that's fair no I, there I is another use space i use virtual desktop for in windows mm -hmm. At the time when I was still in school, when I was using school computers, mm -hmm. uh, when I wanted to hide something from professors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That, that was a useful thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were Actually, supposed to be uh, doing something. Mm -hmm. No, we were we were playing games in, and I was the one that never got caught. Mm. <laughs> Mainly because of that. I guess but because they didn't really care because I always had everything done before I started playing games. Mm -hmm. 